The MetaQuest 3 got a massive update, which unlocked some big features from improved PC VR gaming to finally giving the users a fix for its built-in microphone quality and also much more. So let's dive right into it. With the first thing that you will most likely directly notice is the simplified hand tracking gestures. Previously, when using the controller-free hand tracking on your Quest headsets, you could open up a quick action menu by pinching and holding your thumb and index finger together for about two seconds but now you will immediately open up the regular system menu bar with no delay or limited features and for those who are wondering if you hold that pinch you will now recenter your view instead this means that essentially your right hand pinch gesture now works exactly the same like your menu button on your right touch controller but if you still prefer it the old way you can re-enable it in the movement tracking section of your headset settings but another special feature that got unlocked is the spatial video support for the quest 3 and the reason why this is so surprising is because until now it was only possible to record spatial videos with the latest iPhones and to be able to view them you would also then need the Apple Vision Pro. But this feature is now no longer an exclusive because the Meta Quest app will now let you upload the spatial videos that you have captured with your iPhone inside a cloud storage folder. But probably one of the longest awaited feature that we now finally got with this update is the microphone improvements because since the Quest 3 launched. Many users had problems with annoying popping and plosive sounds while they were trying to communicate inside virtual reality. But luckily, Meta put some big changes into this, where now you will have improved speech clarity as well as a big reduction in the P and T sounds that have been fine-tuned to give your voice a much more balanced and pleasant ring to it. Additionally, Meta also fixed the issue where the mic of some users was muted at random. And if that would still occur, they also added in a prompt to alert you about this change. And for the users that are also using the screen recording option, with this microphone update, it should also improve the quality of the synchronization together with your video feed. But while this all sounds great on paper, keep in mind that this is still a software update. So while you might see some big improvements in how your voice sounds in VR, you shouldn't directly expect that this would make it into a studio recording microphone. But of course, any improvements are a welcome one. And the same goes for their support for multiple multiple mixed reality room meshes. Since the Quest 3 supports room aware mixed reality gaming, you are normally prompted to look around your space and let your headset scan a 3D mesh of your environment. But until now, however, the headset could only store one scene mesh. This means that if you would want a mixed reality experience in a different room, that you would have to do this process all over again. But now it can store this data directly onto your headset, letting you have a maximum of 15 total rooms stored with without needing to scan it again with each time you try it. But another small yet highly requested feature is their new VR multitasking. Now Quest headsets have already let you open up to three 2D screens to be capable of multitasking as much as possible. But before, when you try to open an immersive app on top of it, like for example YouTube VR, it would automatically close these three windows to prioritize the game or experience that you're opening. But with this update, these three screen setups will now persist even after launching your immersive app or VR our game, making it now finally possible to multitask and keep those browsers open even though you're jumping into a VR title. But for all those PC VR lovers out there, we also got some big improvements regarding the Quest Link for PC. And although they just released the new Steam Link for the Quest app directly, which will let you play all your Steam VR titles without any annoying setup, these new added features might be worth going back to AirLink because both Quest Link and AirLink now have support for 120Hz refresh rate and are officially compatible with the Nvidia RTX 4000 series. On top, they also improved some general stability and battery efficiency. So if the Steam Link app is giving you lots of trouble, then perhaps this is even a better way to play your PC VR games. But another thing for VR gamers that came with this update is that the Quest browser now supports game pads. That means that your Xbox controller, as well as the one of the PlayStation 5, are all supported through Bluetooth and USB-C outside of the general apps and games that you could use them for beforehand. Because while the Quest software has 
supported gamepads for a couple of years now. Adding support now to its web browser opens up a whole new line of possibilities, especially for those who use it for emulation. So it was also not surprising to see that Citra, who is known for their Nintendo 3DS game emulator, made their own version called Citra VR that can be played on the Quest headset, meaning that you, for example, could connect a PlayStation 5 controller to your Quest 3 and play some Nintendo 3D games inside virtual reality. Now, if you want to know how to set this up, then leave a comment below. But besides this insane software update, we also had some big news regarding a new VR headset from Meta called the Quest 3 Lite. Because many reports have been coming out that Meta was planning on making a cheaper version of the Quest 3. But we now know that these plans have completely been suspended, which honestly seems like a good move, since it would probably be better to put their funds in creating some great VR games and titles instead, with their Oculus Go being a clear example why most of the time a cheaper version won't always be the best option. But we also had some huge VR game news about the massively popular VR MMORPG known as Zenith The Lost City. But before we get into that, a quick word from the company that made this video possible. If you feel like your screen in VR is too blurry, or if you sometimes wish that your graphics look just a bit sharper, then you might want to check out the lenses from the company named VR Wave, especially if you also wear glasses or contacts in real life because they make lenses for VR headsets like the Quest 3 that you can just click in and directly start using, taking your VR experience to the next level. Besides, they also make a bunch of accessories like head straps or carrying cases, as well as these lens inserts for almost any VR headset that you can think of. And you can use the code FRELITY for a 5% discount on your total purchase. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description below. And with that said, let's get right back into it. For those who have followed some VR news, you most likely know the VR game called Zenith The Lost City because it was one of the very first and big VR MMORPGs to come to the Quest headsets. Not only that, it was also massively popular on launch, with all of its servers overflowing with players trying to explore its world. But sadly, the player base plummeted quite quickly. And most likely, unlike other many MMOs, they do not charge a service cost and instead rely on individual games game sales without any microtransactions. So while that feels great for the gamer that got this title for the first time, it makes it near impossible for a massive multiplayer to keep up its servers. But that is why the developers, known as Ramen VR, made a huge announcement. Because their solution to attract new players is that they announced that the game will soon feature a free-to-play mode. As well with their name change from Zenith The Last City to the now new Zenith Nexus. And with this big overhaul, users will be jumping into the game with content of the open world Last City available as additional DLC. Of course, if you already own the original game, this will already be included. But while I really love the idea of virtual reality MMORPGs, I wonder if this big change will be enough to turn the tables around. But that's not all. Because if you want to see some other must-play games for your Quest 3, then click on the video you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out. 